And I want to share first with you the story of Sarah, because in 18 years, this child has had the opportunity to have more benefit than any other human creature in that period of time in regard to the impact of nutrients on life. In the first picture, I have to tell you I don't remember when that happened, but the adopted mother tells me she called me and said we're considering adopting a little girl that we call Sarah. And the medical school in Denver is discouraging us from adopting her. She was born premature, 2 pounds 15 ounces, to a cigarette chain smoking mother who abused drugs and seriously abused alcohol. One of the reasons they didn't recommend uh, uh, adopting her is that they, uh, if you look at the picture, you will notice the nose is turned up, kind of a little bit of a porky look. Uh, she's flattened between the eyes. It's called saddle deformity, and her eyes are too far apart, and her ears are too low at the back. She has a very thin upper lip. X-rays of her skull and everything that they could uh, tell in the examination of her, as well as the hips, where they, they, she had a diagnosis of fetal alcohol syndrome due to maternal alcohol intake damage. In addition, they made the diagnosis of cerebral palsy. In addition, they made the diagnosis of sensory integrative defect, another brain damage. And because of the prematurity and all this toxicity, she had multiple heart deformities, not only septum but cushion defects. And they anticipated she would need multiple heart surgeries, and the likelihood of surviving those was poor. They tell me they call me in Dallas, and I started saying, well, put in the farm. And they said, well, she's being maintained on an IV through an umbilical vein in the ultra-premature nursery. And we can't give her anything. And I said, uh, well, do you hold her? Get to hold her. And they said, 30 minutes, twice a day. And I said, well, the micronutrient products are in topical form. Uh, little babies are very small, very thin skin. They can absorb things. When you hold her, rub her from the top of her head to between her toes with the glyconutrient formula and the one that has Dioscoria extract. And they did this. I didn't know what happened for years, but the picture on the left is four years later. And when this was sent to me, she said at the medical school, the developmental pediatric uh, specialists at the medical school are puzzled. They cannot find any evidence by x-ray or appearance of her fetal alcohol syndrome changes in her hips and her head. Her nose has come down, her eyes have come together, and furthermore, in fetal alcohol syndrome, they estimate the IQ at less than 80, and her IQ is considered to be around 120 college material. She has no evidence of cerebral palsy, they tell us, and her sensory integrative defect continues to improve. But in addition, with all these micronutrients added to her food over this period of time, her heart developed, they said, just like she was in her mother's uterus, and she will need no heart surgery. 